Jeff, uh, press conference. Uh, we saw the two short uh, statements from both ministers followed by a Q&A session. And we obviously talked about an update of Ukraine and what was going on there. And you know, I summed up that effectively Ukraine still has the momentum in its counteroffensive and has been successful on all three of its main fronts or axes uh, of advance. Uh, and we then discussed what else we could do in the long term for Ukraine, as well as uh, issues around the upcoming NATO summit. Today, we had an in-depth discussion on uh, the situation in Ukraine. And we also spent some time on discussing actionable steps to strengthen the protection of our critical offshore and undersea infrastructure. Um, uh, well, you are aware that we are witnessing every day cyber attacks. Uh, we have seen suspected Russian seabed espionage operations. Uh, we've seen unexplained cable breaks off uh, the shore of Norway and, and UK. Uh, and I think we are all aware since the Nord Stream sabotage that our undersea infrastructure is vulnerable uh, and we have to do more to protect it. Well, like I said, uh, I'm not commenting on, on Nord Stream, on the Nord Stream uh, sabotage, uh, waiting for the results of the investigations. Uh, and in general, uh, and that's something I've stated before also, we support Ukraine because it's been invaded aggressively by Russia and has a right to self-defense. Uh, and that's why we support Ukraine and we will continue to support Ukraine in this war of attrition. Mm. Company. My question goes to Mr. Wallace. You are seen as one of the main contenders. Uh, to um, well, uh, first of all, there's an awful lot of good candidates out there that could fill the role of Secretary General. Uh, as I've said sort of publicly many times before, I, I absolutely love the job I do as Defence Secretary. I'll be four years in this role. Uh, it's, it's one of the best jobs, I think, in any government to be the Defence Minister. Uh, so I love the job I do. But of course, we have a high regard for the job of Secretary General for NATO. It's a really important job very important at this time with the newly uh, sort of you know conflicted Europe and aggressive Russia uh, and it's very very important that we learn the lessons incredibly quickly of what's going on in Ukraine and make sure NATO modernizes and move forward but but ultimately uh, you know it's for the member states and the leaders of those member states 31 member states to make that decision uh, and uh, I'm sure there are lots of good candidates out there